Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On with another episode of Six O'Clock Spurs. I'm here with Jack again. Jack, how are you today? Very good, and you? Yeah, I'm wondering if you recovered from your trolling you got yesterday for not saying much and sitting on the fence too much. Um, no, not really. No, I'm upset by it. But let's I get didn't on with sleep. Anyway, let's get on with today's Six O'Clock Spurs. First bit of news, the Belgian national coach, Mark <sighs> Vilmots, has been bigging up Toby Alderweireld, and why wouldn't he? He said this, uh, he's progressed a lot, he's versatile and very consistent. Basically, he's the first name on the team, seat, team sheet. And for Spurs as well. I'm not surprised about that at all. He's been awesome since he's come to us. He has. He made that one mistake for a penalty against Stoke, yeah. and he came out after the game, I remember, and he said, I didn't make a single mistake last year at Southampton. I'm devastated. And he was basically saying to us, don't expect that kind of thing. And since then, has he made a single mistake? No, not really. There's some good stats that we've got as well, aren't there? What are the stats? Uh, since he joined us, he's made 87 clearances, 21 interceptions, and completed the most passes in the squad at 608 passes. That. So that is pretty good. I'll tell you what, I think, and I've said it before, but I'll say it again, I think he is one of the greatest signings we've made in the last five, ten years. I agree. Defensively sound for once. You can't often say that about, about Tottenham Hotspur. Here's the next bit of news. Daniel Levy, our chairman, our esteemed chairman, according to The Telegraph, he has been sending texts out to say that Harry Kane is not for sale. Now, who do you think those texts have gone to? United. <laughs> just one text. I just like the idea that no. there's, there's just one phone that sits in the middle <laughs> of Old Trafford that all the chairmen have to text if they want to give some information. <laughs> it's just said, uh, Harry not for sale from Daniel. X. Yeah, you like that? I think, uh, realistically, they, he doesn't even need to send a text. Obviously, he's not for sale. He's not going anywhere, he's got no chance. How much would they actually have to pay, do you think, to make Levy sell him? Must leave you in it. Loads. Hundreds. A hundred. A hundred and fifty million pounds, I think. He's not um, going. But more importantly, let's try and get Daniel Levy's number so we can text him some stuff back. If you've got his number, write it in the comments section below and, and we'll do that. And uh, last bit of news today. It's a bit of a, a slow news day, admittedly, but uh, Delhi Ali, your favourite player and mine, uh, has been named the Young Lion of the Month for October by Match of the Day magazine. Now, I assume that's Lion as in a young English player rather than the fact that he is uh, some kind of big cat. A small cat. Lions? Young Lion. Oh yeah, but it's not called Young Cub of the Month, it's called Young Lion of the Month. Whatever. So uh, congratulations Deli Alley on that. Uh, I don't know if you've been watching the programme Hunter, Hunt, Hunter on BBC, <laughs> BBC One, which is a David Attenborough programme, but if he's a young lion he might be on that. I think, uh, I think we know that I'm going to be getting the trolling tonight. Guys, let us know if you agree with what we uh, told you all about in the comments section below. If you've got any opinions on it, tell us about it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. What's left to say, Jack? Come on, you Spurs. Hey, yeah, we Spurs. It was an incredible performance from Spurs. Arsenal will be looking at themselves right now. They'll be saying, you know, we've got nine or ten injuries.